So you just did a closet declutter and you feel great. But then what do you do with your unwanted old clothes? Hey guys, welcome back to my closet declutter shit show. As you can see, I still have a big pile of clothes lying here and I need to find a way to deal with them. Before I dive in, I just want to start by saying I know a lot of people have been discovering the benefits of decluttering. But the question is, if we're all decluttering, then where do these decluttered stuff all go? Well, some people may say, oh, I'll just donate them. But here's another question. Do you know what actually happens to your donated clothes? As the volume of clothing donation dramatically increases, the quality of our clothes has gone down at the same time thanks to fast fashion and ultra-fast fashion. It is estimated that about 70% of donated clothes end up being exported to African countries like Ghana, and among that, 40% of them are so low value or damaged that they go straight into landfill. Unfortunately, our old clothes might not be helping people. If anything, they might be causing problems. So, what do we do then? Well, there are a few ways to do this. The first way is to resell them. You get the extra perks of being able to recoup some of your money, and when people pay for something, they generally appreciate it more. So you can be sure that your item is going to a new home and not going into the landfill. You can also do a clothing swap with your friends. This way you can keep your clothes in circulation for longer. And it could also be a fun way to change up your style for free. If you don't want more stuff coming into your home, then you can just gift them to your friends and family provided that they actually want them in their homes, of course. And yes, you could choose to donate them, but like I just explained, please don't just dump everything to donation centers. I would say the only exception is if your items are in great condition and you know that people would actually benefit from them, which is unfortunately not usually the case. If your clothes are damaged beyond repair, you could recycle them. But recycling clothes is actually extremely difficult, especially when a lot of clothes nowadays are made of a blended material that's hard to separate. Less than 1% of recycled clothing is turned back into new clothes. So take care of your clothes and try not to let them get to that condition. Now it's time to deal with this pile of clothes and this and this. Whether you're reselling or donating, do it by season because you have to give people what they actually need. Well, since it's winter, my god, I can't believe it. Anyways, I'm going to put away all my summer clothes for now. It's like having a little summer inventory. All my summer inventories are now nicely folded. I'm going to store them in the locker and I'll get back to them when summer rolls around. Hi! This is actually a new day, obviously. It gets dark so early now, I wake up and it's already sunset. Anyways, today we're finally gonna get this shit show sorted out. Okay, here's my little game plan. This is my resale pile, right? I'm gonna divide them into two categories, reselling online and reselling to a local secondhand store. For any high value and unique items, I'll sell them online. It's a lot more work because you'll have to individually take photos of each item, upload the photos, and then write the descriptions. But you'll get more of your money back, so I think it's worth the hassle. For items that aren't worth that much, I'll just bring them to a local secondhand store and sell them in bulk. They won't take everything, but for anything they take, they will pay you cash on the spot. Although it might just be enough money to buy a pizza. Alright, this pile is for reselling online. I moved all my clothes my shoes, and my bags here too. And this massive pile is for reselling in bulk to a secondhand store. It's a lot. I don't even know how I'm gonna get them there. Now I'm gonna have to take photos for each individual items I wanna sell. It's pretty dark today, so I added a light here. I could model the clothes myself, but I've got way too many clothes I need to sell, so I honestly don't think I have enough time for that. So I'm just gonna take some product shots. I'm just gonna use my phone for this. I set the aspect ratio to square because this is what most resale platforms require. The weather situation is not ideal today, so my photos did not turn out great even with external lighting, which is a bummer. I'm gonna do the rest another day when the lighting situation is better. I will slowly upload my listings on a few resale platforms available here in Canada, specifically Poshmark, Depop, and Vinted. And for any designer items, I'll also list them on Vestia Collective. 
It's only 4 p.m. and it's dark again. Ugh. Anywho, I'm gonna have to bring this palette to a local secondhand store. But before I do that, I need to wash everything. Washing your clothes before you give them to someone is just basic etiquette. Same goes for anything people order from you online and anything you plan to donate. I feel like I'm moving to another country. I have an appointment with Style Encore today. I was told that it's a secondhand store geared more towards mature women. Uh, story time, I went to Plato's Closet last year and they only ended up taking eight pieces and paid me $25. They also low-key suggested that my clothes were too mature. So I'm not going there this year. I'm going to their sister store instead. Uh, give us like 45 minutes to an hour, okay? Okay, sure. So yeah, you can take a look around. Okay. And okay. we'll send you a text message. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Menu, okay? yeah. Thank you. It's gonna take 45 minutes to an hour. I'm just wandering around like I'm lost. And guess what I found? A donation center. Smee, can Hello. I just bring my clothes and donate them here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. everything needs to be in a bag or a box. Though. Okay, sure. Okay, okay thank you so much. much. Yeah, me too. Oh my god, it's taking so long. I'm just gonna wait in my car. It's finally ready! So, they end up taking 45 pieces and paid me $160. That's more than a pizza. That's like a fancy pizzeria. Now let's drop off some stuff at the donation center here. I usually take my donations to the Salvation Army, but since there's a donation center right here, I'm just gonna do that. It's a lot more convenient. Hi, I'm donating. Done. <sighs> Thanks for coming along with me on this crazy journey of trying to declutter my entire wardrobe. I feel like I lost some weight after all this. Anyways, I can finally go home now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.